Jeremy Harris now with the story. Officer Nate Lyday was a son of Ogden. He spent his life here, was married here, and died serving as a police officer here. He's a hometown boy. He's a hometown hero. Nate was definitely a good cop and set a standard for others to follow. Officer Lyday's family remembered him as a light to their lives, the police department, and the community. If there was ever a time that we should come together as a community, this is it. I just wish that my brother could be here to see more of it. Nate saved countless lives, to include my own, and I will forever be thankful for that. Lighty's brothers in blue say he always watched over them, including on the day he died responding to a domestic violence call. On that day, this world lost a hero and a man who loved Ogden City. Law enforcement from around the region escorted his family to the cemetery. The flag from his casket was given to his grieving widow, Ashley. A dangerous situation they don't retreat from. And in Nathan's case, we saw an example of actually moving towards the danger in order to try and save somebody else from violence. Lyday got a hero send-off, but to those who loved him, he was a hero long before his untimely death in the line of duty. In a world full of hate, be the light like Nathan did. I love you, son. Today is Officer Nate Lyday's fifth anniversary with his wife. He was also killed in the line of duty on May 28th, which was the one-year anniversary of him being sworn in as a police officer. Governor Gary Herbert said his life is an example to everybody, not only here in Ogden, but across the state, of being called to act when service needs it. Reporting in Ogden, Jeremy Harris, 2 News.